Hey guys, this is a very quick video just to show you what the uh, the interface, the desktop interface looks like uh, for Rocket Languages. This is a video to go to go alongside my uh, my written review, which you, if you're watching this on YouTube, you should click through and actually read it. Uh, there's a this is where I place a lot of the details of the Rocket Languages uh, course. So uh, I won't be going into great detail in this video, I just want to give you a very quick glimpse of what the, the interface actually looks like. Uh, you, this is the first page uh, that you'd be presented with. I've been given access to the Arabic, I was, that was for the initial review that I did, uh, and then subsequently I was given access to the French and Spanish levels 1 to 3. So I've been able to try it out for a few different languages. Of course they have trials for all of the languages, but they only give you a very small sample to use uh, in the trial, so it doesn't really give you a great idea what's in it. So this is it, this is the first page. You click through obviously to the language you want to do. So this is the, the dashboard. This is what you, when you log into Rocket French, this is what you are looking at. This is your course, this is what you paid for. Um, depending on which uh, levels you paid for, um, this is, it could just be level one, so it would only be one tab here. I've got access to all three, so this is what it looks like. Um, your, the lessons here are within modules, so there's eight modules per, per level. I think it's eight, yeah it's eight. Um, and within the modules are all the lessons, so there's quite a lot of lessons. There's tons and tons of dialogue content that will last you for, for a long time. Uh, you can also use the navigation up here which sort of just basically gives you uh, it's, it's this just in a, a much more I guess easier to, to find menu at the top now uh, you click through so you find a and over here by the way you have your uh, your progress you can set a points goal here which uh, it's kind of like the um, so you can manually edit your own goal it's just to sort of help you achieve a, a streak. It's a bit like Duolingo. Um, and within each sort of lesson module, you have, um, you have this little percentage progress uh, indicator up here. It'll tell you how much you've completed. And these things here will actually turn green once you've finished them. These are the different tests that you do uh, after each lesson. So you click on the, uh, the lesson you want to do. And this is what you're presented with. So the interactive audio lesson is a little bit like um, the innovative language pod, uh, lesson podcasts, if you've seen them, uh, where basically you have a native English speaker uh, conversing with a native uh, French speaker or whatever the language is, native speaker, uh, sort of asking questions about various expressions, whatever to do with the, uh, the lesson topic. Dans le mouvement et le chaos des grandes villes. Je fais de la photographie en amateur et je prends plaisir à boire une tasse de café fort et de lire un bon livre. You're right, Eric. Nothing beats a good cup of coffee. Yeah, so I uh, I personally don't I don't enjoy these sort of podcast style uh, lessons. I just find that um, the English kind of annoys me. It's a little bit too much. Some people find it really helpful. You might be that kind of person. Um, you know, just finding that uh, listening to somebody converse the two people converse about a particular topic actually helps you. Um, I just sort of, I'm a little bit impatient that way, I just like them to get to the point. You can, um, you can download these in MP3s so you don't have to sort of listen to it on the site and this is one of the positives that I mentioned in the blog, uh, that the entire contents of the site can be downloaded and put onto uh, portable listening devices. You've got the downloadable lesson up here as PDF, so you can actually uh, download the entire lesson and just take it with you. So you, you don't even need to use the site, actually. You can download the whole thing and just take it, uh, use it offline. Uh, it gives you a couple of audio snippets, but what I find is uh, most important and most useful are the conversation transcripts. This is where you've just got some really rich and useful dialogue, tons of dialogue for every lesson, uh, where you can actually, uh, like, I'll show you. Isabelle était juste à côté de moi, et c'est une surprise pour elle. Allez, dis-moi, de quoi s'agit-il? So you can just you can listen through to the uh, the, the dialogue, which is which is in the audio interactive audio lesson, 
And what they've done now, um, as I said in my very first review of Rocket Languages, was they had they had no voice recognition system. So, you know, Rosetta Stone, Duolingo, uh, you know, they, they were miles ahead of Rocket in that they had a sort of an automatic, uh, a way to sort of record your voice and have it match up with the native speaker and give you a sort of a, a grading on how well you pronounce something. Uh, finally, Rocket Languages has actually um, has actually figured this out and installed um, a voice recognition system. They use the uh, Google Web Speech API, so it uses Google technology uh, to give you a, a fairly accurate uh, grading on how well you're pronouncing things. So you basically, I don't have my microphone set up on the computer because I'm using it for this uh, recording, but yeah, if you click here, then you record, you say this and it will actually grade you on how well it sounds. I don't, uh, as I said in my blog uh, review, I don't think that using technology to grade pronunciation is good anyway. Um, I find that it's, uh, uh, even with Rosetta Stone and Duolingo, it often gives wrong results. Um, and I've done, sometimes I'll actually intentionally pronounce something wrong uh, and have it say, yeah, you know, you are 100% correct. Um, and you know, just sort of proves that technology is not—it's just not there yet, you know. But it, it helps some people. Some people like it, and it's certainly in terms of uh, this, in terms of Rocket's marketability, it certainly uh, increases its value for money, I guess. Or uh, it, uh, you know, it it brings it more up uh, closer to its competitors. Um, so yeah, that's one of the. One of the newest, that's probably the biggest uh, change that they've made to the site actually, the design and the, uh, the web speech API. So I've just logged into another one of the languages, uh, to the Arabic one, just to show you. It's, it's exactly the same. The interface rather is exactly the same. As you see, I've only got premium level one here, so the other tabs, the level two and level three that you saw in the, uh, in the French one uh, are not here. And so that's what you'll see if you've only purchased the first level. Uh, same thing, exactly the same, uh, same interactive audio lesson style. But is referring once again to you. Like the other words referring to you, tishrab must be modified for a female, making it tishrabi. And so, as you can see, it's a podcast style, lots of English explanations, it runs you through it. A lot of people like that. I don't have the patience for it, but some people might find that great. Uh, Conversation transcripts are the same, except for you know, with a language like Arabic, where you've got a different script. They've actually given you the Arabic and the uh, the English, um, uh, the Franco-Arabic, uh, Arabic, just to help you read it. Um, same thing again. So the testing is a little bit different. They've uh, they have actually improved the testing. It's kind of similar to the way Duolingo tests. Uh, so you have various skills um, that they run you through. Uh, a lot of it's sort of self-graded, so you'll do the test, you reveal the answer, and then you'll sort of select a, um, you'll you'll sort of self-grade yourself on how on how hard you found it or how easy you found it. Uh, the writing is is pretty cool. I mean, they've actually, um, I'll show you this. Look, shukran. So shukran. So what they've get, they're giving you here is a little keyboard you can use. Uh, same for all the different languages. Uh, you can either use this keyboard or you can type it yourself. So, let's say, what was it? Shokran. Shokran. So if we... So let's say there we... Uh, I've put in my answer. Reveal. Shokran. And see how it's all green? That means that, uh, that I got it all right. If one of the letters was wrong, it would be... Uh, that sort of just one letter would be red to say that I got it wrong. So and it's it's pretty accurate actually it's it's um it's pretty good. Now with all of these as well, you've also got the uh, the voice recognition, so you can still continue to uh, uh, attempt to pronounce it and get graded on your pronunciation. Um, here you've got uh, it'll actually just give you the English, and you've got to record the Arabic, and it will tell you if you're correct or not. This is pretty cool. So uh, yeah, that's um. And here you can actually take part in a conversation. So you sort of select a level, select a character, and it will actually run you through and give you a chance to actually participate in the conversation. And it works really well. 
um, it's a really great improvement to the to the course and you'll find this incredibly useful of course as you finish these tests uh, in grade you your points go up and your progress indicator for the lesson if I go back to the connection is a little slow yeah your progress indicator will continue to go up here so that's it there are some other things as a, a flash card um, they've worked on a new flash card system here um, and a number of other things but uh, I'm just going to close this video off for now because uh, honestly the uh, the audio the the transcripts the conversations and uh, everything I've just shown you is really the uh, the the meat of what the rocket courses are about and it's it's all I'd really uh, there's also a forum where you can where you can uh, it's quite an, an active forum where you can talk to other native speakers uh, to native speakers and to other learners uh, quite a lot of threads in there uh, it's really active so uh, that's cool as well um, but that's that's it that's really what you're presented with so I hope that gives you some kind of an idea of what you uh, what you expect if you sign up for rocket and of course there's a final test as well which is just uh, similar to the other test that I've just shown you so that's it